Who's suing who? Why are you suing people? What's going on? We are back. We are. Yes, we are back. Okay, Keith, I would never leave you. Never! emoji fest oh I'm sorry I guess it was my fan it could have been my fan guys you should have told me Wait, where's the mic? I thought the mic is over here. No, nobody, nobody knows. Okay. <sighs> All right. So everything's solved. Yes, no, ye. How old is this? Uh on expired in 2018 guys yeah i could i guess you can't see expired in 2000 nice i think lip balms are the actually only expired shit that i <laughs> maybe they're better that Yeah, I have no clue where the mic is. But. Welcome back. Okay, there we go. No, no, no. Hongdae. It's like similar vibes to Hongdae. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. Thought that was always obvious, my mom. Oh, I don't uh, know. I think mom is going golfing today. 
The weather's really nice, so she's been going uh, out golfing a lot these days. Okay, what am I missing? I put blush on. I think that's okay with blush, right? Okay, how about that one? How about you? What are your plans? What are you guys all gonna do? Am I going to cheer Jordy up? Why? What happened? What happened, Jordy? What happened? Jenny be hooking up with G Dragon. Oh, that's what happened? Oh. Uh, Oh, so Jordy's into Jenny, huh? I was more, like, I mean, I'm into G-Dragon, kind of. But, um, uh, I'm just glad, you know, because he seemed really, I don't know, he seemed really down last year. So I think a lot of people are just like, hey, if this is true, like, uh, we're happy for you. You know, just try to be happy this year. I think that's what's going on with G-Dragon. Guys, they're they're full grown adults. Let them do their thing, hun buns. They gotta get some steam off, okay? Shit happen. But you can got friends. Maybe Jesus next. Maybe. Who knows? But, I mean, it's just a rumor, though, right? Like, nothing has come out. Like, they didn't admit or nothing, right? Right? Yeah, I don't think anything is, like, confirmed or stuff like that. Right? Anybody know? But in all seriousness, I really do hope that they can all enjoy and live. Yeah, I know. I think at least on um, B Dragon's side, because he seemed so low last year, he lost so much weight. And I actually thought he had cancer or something, you know, because he was so bony last year. Um, I mean, like, he's always been small, but he's never been that bony. He legit looked sick. So, you know, I was I was worried about him. I don't I didn't know what was going on, but I guess his fans were super worried. So this year, with like all this rumor going on, you know how like fans can be, oh my god, like you guys can't date, like fuck her, fuck him, like whatever, right? But I think the G Dragons fans are just being more like, like oppa like be happy you know that's all we wish for we just want you to be happy and healthy so i, I guess that's a good thing right kind of no big bang comeback oh, i'm so i mean shit happened i don't know but, um, wait, what's I gonna say? Maybe. Are they not? For sure. I mean, I know they were supposed to, um, they were supposed to go to... What is the thing in LA? Like, the festival thing? We talked about this before. I think it was in May, right? And... They were... Big Bang?
Japan was also like going to perform there, but I think the thing itself is being canceled. Like it's canceled, right? Yeah, Coachella. I think Big Bang was invited to Coachella. Like they were going to perform at Coachella. Um, that's why I was like, oh shit, you know, it would be really nice if, you know, I know tickets are crazy and all, but I've never been to like an actual concert, concert or festival. So I kind of wanted to see Big Bang perform there. Um, but I think Coachella is like canceled and everything, right? No, right? I think so, right? No, not really. Yeah, not for concerts or anything like that. Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't a concert, but I saw um, Giant Tea. Just by coincidence. Like, I was, I was just there. I was invited to, like, a eco beauty, like, festival fair, something like that. And G, uh, not G Dragon, Giant T was invited uh, to perform there or something like that. So I just saw Giant T perform, but it wasn't like a concert or anything like that. Yeah, I guess I'm not that invested in celebrities like that. Yeah. I do want to see Cold perform if like I ever get the chance to though. I think Cold and, um, who else do I want to see? Um, yeah, I mean, there's like a few, I think, I feel like. There's a few that I want to see perform. I don't really like crowded places. Mm. And I think I'm mildly claustrophobic, but it's a very like specific claustrophobic. So I don't know if I would call it claustrophobic, but if it's like somewhere with a lot of people and it's like legit, like shoulder to shoulder, super tight, um, yeah, that just kind of makes me really anxious. So even if I do go to concerts, it's either be like a super small one um, or yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else. I don't know, online concerts? I guess that could work, right? Yeah, I think there's like, oh, UMF. Like, UMF is here too, but I've never been. A lot of my friends are into like EDM, so they've been to the uh, UMF Ultra Music Festival, but um, yeah. Even though I was like, even offered like a free ticket because my friend, friend's family was like, I don't know if they were the sole ones, but they kind of like were the ones to like plan or kind of take care of it. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just couldn't do the whole like, oh, super crowded, everyone drunk. Like you got to wait in line to go to the bathroom thing. Yeah, same. And Korean people can get pretty drunk. Pretty quick too, I feel like.
What is it? What is it made out of? Am I missing out? Oh, really? Chat? Okay. There we go. Yeah? Alive now? Oops. Can I tap on something? Okay, there we go. Is it fixed? It's fixed, right? No? Yeah, right? Yeah. Spicy? What? Why would you put anything spicy on bread? Because, like, gingerbread cookies aren't spicy. I don't know what you mean by spicy. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Jordy. Chili spicy, like spiced tea, sort of. Really? Does it taste like? Have you ever had ginger tea? Is it kind of like ginger tea? Cause I like having ginger tea when I'm cold, and it's pretty spicy. Really? I don't think I've ever like seen it anywhere around here or I don't know maybe I just didn't recognize it but um yeah I don't I don't think I've seen it anywhere actually packet packet pick packet pick wait one sec let me check it's on discord Oh, what? What is this? The cookies look super cute though. So it's biscuits or interesting. Hmm. They're tasty. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Maybe if I see any of them, like at the store or something, I'll try to buy them. They're tasty, huh? Okay. <laughs> they do, huh? Okay, guys, um, let's actually get into the story, okay? It's super short. It's just something happened, but it just kind of shook me, okay? That's just, that's just what happened. Um, So yesterday, I actually left early. I usually like leave around maybe nine or ten because that like ten is the ten is when everything shuts down. 
but yesterday I think I left like 7 30 yeah I think I got on my way home I was on my way home basically 7 30 p.m and everything was fine I was having a lot of fun you know I had a lot of fun the weather was nice I was going home got home like as in like got to my neighborhood and um i just got off somewhere you know maybe it's like a three minute five minute walk but i was wearing crazy heels last night right so i took a little longer maybe like five to eight minutes walk okay not a long walk um around like across from my apartment um maybe like one minute in there's like a little there's like th there's like this big yeah but that wasn't the issue the the like taxi wasn't the issue it's just like there's this big like horse statue um it's like a little i, I don't know what i would call it it's not a it's not a, a square but there's this little area um where there's stores surrounding it. It's super small though. Like stores surrounding it. And there's like a horse statue, white horse statue that kind of looks like that Ferrari horse. Okay, it's, it's going like this, but it's like kind of square and pixelated horse statue. And when I always get off somewhere else, cause there's like a lot of traffic lights in the neighborhood because we have kids, a lot of people walking around. We have a lot of traffic lights. So I just get off somewhere and I walk like across the neighborhood sometimes. Again, five to eight minute walk, not long. I do this all the time. I like walking. Um, and I was on the phone, like I was on FaceTime with my friend and I was just like, you know, just joking around, just you know, like all face call, like FaceTime and just walking home. And at the horse statue square thingy, it's a little hill where I have to walk up and then there is a crosswalk where I wait. And then I get across and then it's my apartment almost, basically. So when I was about at the horse, right, on FaceTime like this, I kind of look around in my peripheral vision so that I make sure I don't bump into people or bump into kids or cars or kickboards, whatever, right? Um... And then I see, in my peripheral vision, I see this green bomber jacket guy, right? And I can, I can kind of remember, vaguely remember, I vaguely saw that he was on his phone and he looked up probably so that, you know, he knows that someone is in front of him. Um, it's like army green, right? Someone is in front of him, doesn't want to bump into me or someone else. Probably that's why, that's what I thought. But I was going this way and he was walking this way. So it's like opposite directions, right? Opposite directions. So I mind my own business, you know, I forget about him or whatever. Um, and then I was just on my FaceTime walked above the hill or whatever little slope um waited at the light like i had to wait right i waited at the light and um uh, as the light turned green of course no <laughs> i crossed the crosswalk and i got to my apartment and my apartment basically on the first floor we have like a number of keypad thing where i have to put in like my password and everything for the door to open and on the first floor there was a woman on the first floor like lobby place i guess she was waiting for a taxi or something i don't know what she was doing but there was a lady over there thank god there was a lady over there yes a woman yes and as i like she opened the door for me because it's like a motion sensor right so because you know the password is pretty long she just opened the door for me and i was like thank you and then i uh, when the door opens um the elevator is automatically called 
So I was just waiting for the elevator to get here. And then that green ass jacket. Like I was still on FaceTime, okay? This green ass jacket. He was like, excuse me. Yeah, the password is really long. Um, yeah, he was like, excuse me. And I was like, uh, yes, can I help you? Like, I didn't know who the fuck he was. Okay, like, yes, can I help you? And he was like, um, I saw you, like, back over there, but... If he is, I'm gonna like fucking kick it down. I saw you like on the way and I followed you here. You know, I thought you were on the FaceTime or you were on the phone with someone. So I just couldn't find the right timing to talk to you. Mind you, this is in my apartment. Like my apartment. Um, he was like, yeah, like you were on the phone. Couldn't get, you know, didn't know when was the right timing to talk to you. Like, um... You're super my style. Like, can you give me your contact? Like, can you give me, you know, like your number? And I was like, you know, it's not a situation where I, I just like ignore him and start walking. This is literally in my apartment. Like, where am I supposed to go? And for like, you know, for a second or two, I was like, shit, if I take the elevator, the elevator was here at this point. If I take the fucking elevator and go home, he's going to know which floor I live at. And I didn't want that. So I was like, um, I, I have a boyfriend. That's what I always say. I say either I have a boyfriend, either I'm married, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get married. Like, I say some shit like that. Sometimes, like, I wear, um, I have a diamond ring that I bought myself. I wear that shit sometimes. Like, whenever I'm going to crowd places or something like that, you know? I just, I just do that. It's something a lot of girls would do, I'm pretty sure. So I was like, oh, I have a boyfriend. I'm um, sorry, you know? Like, I'll have to, you know, like, go. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. <laughs> you know, that's, like, what I was, you know, getting at. And he was like, oh, it's okay though. Can I still have your number? And I was like, once in a little while, like maybe one out of like six. It's pretty common though. There's guys where they're like, maybe, I don't know. But he's, he, there's, there's a, there's one out of maybe six guys that's like, oh, like, it's okay, can I still have your number? When I tell them I have a boyfriend. It's super weird. I don't know what's going on in their head. I don't know what their logic is, but they're like, it's okay, can I still have your number? Weird as shit. Um... And this is, like, making me super anxious. Like, this is my apartment. I don't want... Even if I'm on, like, a first date with someone, I don't tell them where I live. You know, even, you know, if they offer to, like, drive me home or drop me home, I never tell them my actual address. I tell them, like, the apartment across from my home or just in my neighborhood. I get off, I see him leave, and then I come home, you know? I'm telling you, like, this shit happens. They're like, oh, it's okay. Can I still have your number? Which is, like, fucking creepy. So, I was like, he, he this dude was in my apartment. Does, just does not want to leave. So, I was like, um. Did not feel comfortable with him here. Like, inside the building. So I was like, you know, like he, oh, he was like, let's, you know, like, let's talk outside because there was this woman uh, in the lobby, like on the first floor with us, right? It, exactly. If, you know, whether like it's true or not of I have like the girl having the, a boyfriend or not, if she tells you she's married or has a boyfriend, 
She's not interested. Like, it's a no-go, bro. Like, you're a no-go. That's what happened. So, I was like, yeah, you know, I think that's a good idea. And then we just walked, like, right in front of the door of the apartment. The gate, whatever. And he was like, yeah, I saw you were there. Like, I, you were super my type. You know, so I want I want to get to know you. Um, And I was like, as I said... I have a boyfriend um <clears throat> so i i don't think i don't think anything you know like i don't think it's gonna go anywhere right i was like i have a boyfriend and he was like he, he he starts asking me these weird questions like how old are you uh have you lived in this neighborhood long um like are you a student like like a college student or do you work and i'm like The, f the fuck are you asking me, bitch? Like, uh, <laughs> that legit creeped me the fuck out. This dude knows where I live, wants to know my age, whether I have a job or not, my occupation, whether how long I lived in this neighborhood that's legit what went through my head. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed to do right now? Like, thank god this, this lady was right inside the gate, right? So we were, like, the gate is here. Um, and maybe we're, like, right in, like, the corner in front of the gate. And she was inside the gate, like, waiting for a cab or something. I don't know if he would have even left or what would have happened if she wasn't there. You know, give, giving me super creep vibes. I think this was like 9.30 p.m., something like that. And... Which is like kind of shady because I can't see his face too, right? Because we're all wearing a mask. I'm not going to be able to recognize him if I see him on the street or something. Like, that was creepier. Like, how am I supposed to kind of, like, stay away from him or something if I see him on the street? Or what am I supposed to do? Um, so I was like, I have a boyfriend. So. Yeah. L this was my expression. Like, I have a boyfriend. Yeah. And he was like, oh, like, um, I guess, like, then it would not be a good idea to be in contact, huh? And then I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. And then I just went back inside. The lady opened the door again for me. And he didn't follow me inside. Um, and then I got on the elevator. I came back home. And thank God, you know, my mom and dad were out like in the in the apartment complex, like using the screen golfing thing. So nobody was home at the time. And she left the lights on for the dogs. So it didn't look like, you know, nobody was home or whatever. If he was outside checking which house, you know, light turned on or whatever, he wouldn't have known probably because the light was already on. I didn't have to turn the light on or anything. Which, I'm pretty sure if my mom didn't leave the like lights on when she left, I probably would not have turned the lights on. In case, like, he was, I don't know, waiting outside to see which house light turned on or something like that. So I probably would have waited a good 30 minutes until... Yeah, I was so... Oh my god, it just still gives me, like, creeper vibes. Um, so our apartment complex has this little monitor in the living room where, you know, like if someone rings a bell or as I said, we have a lot of like children around here. So it's a very like family friendly neighborhood. <sighs> no, I don't think so. Um, so we have like pr playgrounds in our apartment complex. I think we have two or three playgrounds in our apartment complex and we have like CCTVs around 
where the playground is and kind of like the main entrance. So I used, you know, my monitor screen to check all the CCTVs and see if he's still there or if he's like in front of my door or the first floor lobby door. Like I checked, like I legit was just staring into the screen to make sure he wasn't there or something. And then I was like, you know how the security footage, like they delete, cause they can't keep all of it, right? So they delete it after like a few days or something like that, or it overwrites. Um, so I was like, oh shit, should I run to the security room right now, tell them what happened, and then kind of take a picture of like what he looks like or something. He probably would have. He looked Korean as fuck, I'm telling you. He looked like this weird Korean, like, maybe, like, mid-30s or early 30s. I don't know. He was wearing a mask. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, and then the thought, I like, that kind of gave me more chills was, like, okay, like, in the apartment, we have, like, CCTVs in the apartment, like, first floor, too. Um, I'm sure we do have CCTV on the outside too, but it's probably less than inside. So I was like, oh shit, like why did he ask to talk outside? Like that's kind of weird too. Who in the right mind follows someone for like five to eight minutes walk while they're on the fucking phone? And this was a guy friend too, like with the guy waits behind her in a crosswalk he could have like talked to me at the crosswalk who fucking follows them home what the fuck because i had to wait at the crosswalk and i didn't see anyone in my peripheral vision which means he was behind me It just doesn't logically make sense, you know, like, who follows someone to their apartment? <sighs> I guess so. Oh my god, that was, like, one of the weirdest fucking experiences. I've had guys that's like, oh, like, it's okay if you have a boyfriend, like, you know, can I still have your number? And what I usually do is, like, hey, if you give me your number, I'll just, like... I don't know, I'll just like um, contact you. Just give me your number and then never contact them, right? But I didn't want to give him my phone as well. Just He just, he just bad, just sus, just bad vibes. I, I just couldn't register in my mind what kind of crazy ass psycho would follow someone home for a number. Yeah, oh, it was just so creepy. Oh, shit. The creepy as hell. The dude was just... My god. Oh, my god. Oh, oh shit. Creepy. I can't. And to know that he probably, like... Like... Um live in the neighborhood because it was like 9 30 at night i don't this is a neighborhood where people live here they they usually it's not like hangnam where people travel here to have a drink or something but i know right who follows someone home And how could he think I would give him my number? After doing that. Oh my god, that was so creepy. And what guy in the right mind is like, oh, like it's okay if you have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, this shit happens and so I don't know why. It's just so it's so creepy. Like, dude, if if she tells you she has a boyfriend, whether it's true or not, it's just done. It's a no-go. She doesn't like you. Uh, 
Uh, I know. I know, right? Like, what? Oh my god. And it's such, I don't know, it's such a weird feeling to, I don't know, not feel safe at home, if that makes sense. I felt, I felt so weird for a good, like, few hours last night before I went to bed. Um... Like, I legit wanted to stay away from the window. Uh, yeah, just... Oh. Oh. Ew, you know? Why would he ask me how old I am, how long I lived here? Like, ew. Uh, I know. Oh my God. But the thing was, like, I didn't want to, like um like piss him off if that makes sense uh because number one he knows my home like i don't know if he's going to be waiting for me you know around my apartment um i don't know if like he already stalked me before knows you know when i come home when i go out like yeah, like, I didn't want to, especially because if this was just on the street, I usually just, like, ignore people and just, like, walk away. But, um, he, when it's a situation where they know where I live, like this, that's when I don't want to, like, piss people off. Because I don't know what the fuck crazy people are going to do. Like, logic is not going to work. I'm not going to know what they're, what crazy people are going to do. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was like so creepy. Ew. Shit. Who fucking asks how old or what their occupation is when they're asking for a number and she's like, she has a girl, a boyfriend. Like, what the fuck is going on in this mind? This is. Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh, shit. One of the worst experiences ever in a little while. Guys can be- some guys can be definitely creepy here. Um, cause... You know, like, some people just don't... Right? That's what I feel like. Like, I'm like, shit. I know it is. It's just- oh, it's just creepy vibes. That's why, like, um... That's kind of why I got into the habit of calling friends when I'm, like, walking back home. Uh, so last night, you know, that friend was like, like, what the fuck is going on? Because we were still on the phone, like, what the fuck is going on? And then, like, I told, like, him after, you know, what was going on. But he was listening, though. So I told him, like, what exactly was going on after. And then, you know, legit was, like either go to the security um <clears throat> like your apartment security place tell them what happened get like a cctv um print of like what this guy looks like um stuff like that um and look into like you know stuff like pepper spray or like shit like that it's just Regardless of like, you know, me being safe right now and stuff, it just doesn't feel good to not feel safe, if that makes sense. It's just gonna, s I don't know. Oh. Oh. I mean, I had stalkers before, but like, this is. Oh. I know. Ew. Shit. Oh my god, so creepy. Leah! That was so scary. Oh. 
I just hate the fact that he knows where I live. This is like so creepy. Ew. I know. Oh, uh, thank you guys. So I'm not like being paranoid, right? This is weird, right? Like no person in the right mind would do this normally, right? Uh, my wedding ring. Let me actually check. Did I put it up here? It's um, it's a halo wedding ring. And let me actually check. Uh, I mean, I have like a few rings, but I think that one is my favorite. Legit looks like a wedding ring, actually. Let's see. Let's say, guys. Wait, where is it? Uh, where's my little... Oh, it's down here. Okay. It's down here. It's this one. Oops. So, it's this one. It's um it's a single halo diamond ring. And oops, not focusing. I think it's like uh 1.7 in the middle and then like 1.5 for the surrounding halo ones. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jordy. Uh, huge? Huge? Maybe. I think it's pretty, um, it's pretty standard. I bought this in LA, actually. I bought this in LA. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to, I wanted to get, like, an engagement ring for myself. That's what happened. Because, you know, like... It was, I don't know, you know, like that cheesy thing for me, it was more like, oh shit, like, you know, sure, I'm gonna fall in love with someone, you know, I'm gonna have friends, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that I'm left with. So let's be honest to myself. That's kind of like the idea of, you know, getting myself the ring. You know, it was kind of like a reminder that I'm the one that's going to be left with me at the end of the day. Yeah. <sighs> so that happened. It was such a horrible experience, guys. Such a such horrible experience. I will almost never wear my ring. Yeah, um, I know what you mean. They do get, like, scratches and stuff. Um, like, even on a diamond, it does get, like, scratches and stuff just by wearing it, like, in daily life. But uh, I think if you take it to wherever you bought it, they, like, clean it up for you, I think. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, and I I forgot, but uh, I think I think the Halo ones, if they fall out, like I think I have a two year warranty or something like that. I forgot, but ten year something like the five to ten year warranty or something like that. So if like the small Halo ones fall off, um, they will replace it. 
for me. Apparently. Um, I mean, they can be, but I think it definitely depends on, like, the grade of your diamonds and whether they're natural or synthetic. Definitely. Because if they're lab-grown, um, they're not too expensive. Like, diamonds can be cheaper than, like, designer handbags. It really depends on the grade of your diamond and, uh, like, whether they're natural or synthetic. But, yeah. Synthetic ones basically are perfect, if you think about it. If Unless you actually have that, like... I don't know, kind of like standard thought of, oh, like diamonds need to be super rare and they have to be natural and are willing to pay like, like whatever, how many K you want to pay. Just get some better ones, to be honest, same shit. Better quality. The wife's ring was more than my classic car cost. Yeah, you know, it's a wedding ring. I'm glad you invested in some uh, uh, memorable moments, Mama. I mean, hey, it's good emergency money when you need it. If you definitely need some emergency cash, take the ring and you, uh, you know? True, classic cars can be, and rings do depreciate, but, uh, hey, Goku, Goku, all right, I'm gonna change, but I actually have decided what I'm probably going to wear, so wait, let me actually show you, I'm going to wear this, it's like a super preppy look, today the weather is pretty nice, Guys, do you like my makeup? Guys, do you, Momo, do you like my new contact lens? Or do you not? What do you think about my new contact lens? Split the price of the ring? Uh, I mean, there's plenty of couples that just decide not to get the ring. Cause they're like shit. What's the what's the point? And I've seen couples with like tattoo rings. They write like their name on the finger, um, and just decide not to get like a ring at all. Yeah. You like him? I know, right? Yeah, I've seen some uh, people do that, like a super thin like ring looking stuff it's it's usually when they don't like both of them don't like wearing rings yeah like people that's just not used to like having stuff on their finger especially you know how like engagement rings or wedding rings like bands are better but like diamond like rings whatever they can kind of get in the way of like whatever right get stuck in clothes whatever so um i think they just decide to just spend the money on something else and just not get a ring and just get tattoos of like the partner's names. Yeah, he can never do that, right, Leah? You get wild me. You get wild me. Okay, let me actually try this one. Or divorce. Yeah, or divorce. We got a thing. <laughs> Can get eight hobbies. True. Okay. One, two, three. Bonds. Let's get there over there. I'll take my calendar off. Oh. 
Do you guys? Oh, I'm actually almost done with that one. And I bought, I bought another one yesterday. I bought the uh, Kodak Fun Saver. So I got two urine sample. Yeah, I got two uh, film cameras now. I mean, I have another one, an actual DSLR like film camera thingy. Take some fake glasses there. Oh, I'm taking my sunglasses, so I don't think I need glasses. The weather's kind of nice today, so I decided to take my uh, sunglasses. Are these sticky shelves? Sticky shelves? What's sticky shelves? What is sticky shelves? Okay, I think you can come back now. So I'm going to wear this um, under. It's a super, like, I don't know. It's uh, you spill a drink and the ants come because it's what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the window like suction cup one. I think I can put hooks on it and then put it like through wallpaper or whatever. But yeah, this one is um, it's a sticky shell. It's suction cup. But I'm going to wear this one uh below. It's a super classic Burberry shirt, uh sleeveless, so I can't wear it just solo but i'll wear this thing under so it's kind of like this you'll see and then to add to the preppy look we're taking the super cute tie am i keeping my hair up no i'm going to wear a beret isn't that cute? A beret. Because I didn't wash my hair and I just couldn't care to wash my hair. So fuck it. I know I did. Oh, my favorite brush. Any of you got long hair, you gotta get the Tangle Angel. Favorite brush so far. 24, five years of life. And this brush is definitely my favorite. I don't know if any of you have heard of this brand, but it's pretty famous. Not today, but Charles. Nope. Okay. I brushed it a little bit, but let me just like spray a bit of uh, dry shampoo. You should, Momo. Yeah, it's a, it's a tangled, no, it's a, I think it's called like a, yeah, like a detangler or whatever. It's called, thank you, Dokoku. It's um called Tangle. Tangle Angel, I think. Yeah, it's pretty big. I got them in like multiple colors. Ooh, so cool. Oh, I love dry shampoo. Um, and different sizes. So this is the medium size. They have a super small one for handbags, and then this one's the big size. And they come in different colors. I know, they're super good too. Like, 
they don't what snap or pull at your hair when you're combing even at the end it just smoothly detangles your hair You should. Yeah, they do. I think they have the Tangle Angel Pro as well. I was thinking about getting that one as well. I have blue. I have pink. I know they have black ones and gold ones. I know. And then I was thinking uh, these bags, this one, and the monster boots. What you guys think? And just because, you know, we have uh, the typical little thing going on, I think I'm going to put on like. Oh, thank you. It's like kind of like school, right? Yes. Do you guys like it? Oh, thank you. Okay, so I think the only thing I haven't like kind of landed on was it's like the shoes. Thank you, Goku. All of you. So much support today. Um, so I was thinking either like the super high like Momo hating monster boots or the Converse. But to be honest, I think the boots are going to be warmer. Uh, I know Momo doesn't like that pair of boots. Wait, why? I actually don't know what Twice looks like. I only know Momo. She definitely like upped her fashion the recent days. So I'm thinking like Kind of like this, and I think for the jacket, um, I might be just wearing like bringing this one. It's like super thin. It's a bomber jacket. Um, wait, where's my sleeves? Okay. So this one is like when it gets cold, but during the day it's gonna be. So, I know, right, Leah? Uh, during the day, it's going to be pretty warm. So, it's like... And then, okay, for the shoes. Come on, let's decide on the shoes. Bye! Bye, Jordy! Bye, Jojo! -jo. Uh, let me bring my little... Thing. Okay, so we got two options, okay guys? We got two options basically. We got the monster boots or we got the converse. The Brain dead, Converse, Chuck Taylor. Oh, 
What are we thinking? So either this or this. Because the boots are easier to wear, let me try the boots first. Uh, the Chuck Taylors are harder to put on. I do like the monster boots too, though. I think the Chuck Taylors are going to be okay. Yep, I'm wearing them shorts. So it's going to be like this. For I wore like jeans inside. It's going to be like... It's going to be like this. What are we feeling? It's either this. Hard to be in the frame. <sighs> Trainers. And then, okay, give me one sec. Let me put on the color. <sighs> oh. It's just that if I wear the Converse, I'm kind of scared that it's going to be a little too cold. Okay. okay. So lazy to get socks, so let me put them on first. Uh, I got longer white socks. Nope! <laughs> Got no sauce. No, today's pretty warm. I think it's like 14 degrees Celsius highest. One degree Celsius lowest. Uh, zero, zero, like negative one degrees uh, Celsius lowest. But um, that's like 3 a.m. or something. Like that. You could set up roulette. I know, right? Hey, Evolve. Hello. Okay, so these are the comforts. How do we feel? But do you think it will go well with my bag, though? Anyone? Yes, you like this? No, different bag. I don't know what bag, then. Okay, from the bags you've already seen so far, remember I have the pink one, the blue one, um, black, big bags. This one's too formal, the black formal one. Uh, oops. And then... Yeah, I don't know. That's why yesterday I was like, oh shit, what bag should I take? And then this one felt like the best match. Try the navy. <laughs> I don't have an Ikea sock. You give me the Ikea sock. Uh, navy. Navy. This one's the navy one, right? Navy. Or, um, where's my, where's my clutch, my brown clutch, I think I have the brown clutch somewhere, if I don't lose it. Oh, it dropped. Or we have the super classic mulberry clutch. What are we thinking? This one, the mulberry one. Okay, so I guess we're going for like super school 
preppy look. Okay, I think this is like high enough, right? So this, wait, my shoes though. Is this what we're going for? Yeah? This is it? So, okay, let me check. Okay, just hopefully it's not too cold. <laughs> yeah? Tutor look? Can you be my tutor? <laughs> of course, honey. You know I am too uh, pretty uh, young girls. But okay, let me let me let me try. So Okay. So are we going for this one? I guess we're going for this one. I like it guys. Uh, let me see. I think I have like kind of long socks, but let me wear one side and then show you. The shorter socks might actually be better. Um, but we can try. Oh, okay. Wait, what's the wind? 15 miles per hour. Wait, isn't that a lot of wind? Someone tell me, is that not windy or is it windy? It's a bit windy. Right? What the hell? I don't feel any wind. I have the windows open. What the hell? Maybe it's going to get a little windier later. Right? Because I think like one mile per hour or something like that is like when there's like no wind, right? See? Yeah, I think one mile per hour is like is like good amount of like no wind. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let me try like kind of like not high socks, but kind of socks. Right? Consider light breeze. Okay, let me check. Oops. You have to vote. Really? You like this one the most? Yeah, I don't think these socks work, but... Okay, we can go for this one. I like this one. <sighs> so we're going for this, this, really? Am I that like student like it? <laughs> okay, Momo, do you see my lens now? Do you like it? Do you guys like my contact lens? This is new. Like, I wore it yesterday, but I feel like I didn't really get to show you guys well enough yesterday. They are, right? Right? I really like it because, like, the white ring... Right inside the dark ring. Does it make sense? Kind of makes my eyes look... I know, right? That's kind of the thing that I really like about it. Makes my eyes look extra twinkly. Okay, 
Okay, so we got, okay, let me make sure I got everything in my bag. So we're going for the brown one, right? We're going for the brown one. We're going for this one. So let me put my wallet, my new camera. Wallet, new camera, and extra bit of lip gloss, cushion, lip tint. By the way, you kind of missed my super weird experience last night. Maybe you can check the VOD. Weird shit happened last night, guys, right? It's not me being paranoid, like, shit was actually weird. I know you should. Yeah, it was so creepy. Do I have everything? Oh, yes. And the sunglasses. To top off... Is it too early to mention? No, no, no. Mention Raid. Who is available? To top off the look, I am bringing my favorite... Hey, Armani! Gentle Monster sunglasses today. Definitely topping it off, my ladies. Who's there? Who's available for my raid? Ting Ting Berry. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's go with Ting Ting Berry today. I didn't know she followed me. I don't know how she followed me, but all right, guys, thank you. I will keep you guys updated on Discord and Twitch. You guys know the drill. Um, but let me actually type in the raid first because it's going to take a little while. The raid definitely does take a little while. Uh, a raid. The crows are crying. Ting Ting Barry. Right? There we go. Yeah, I know. I think this she... Yeah, what? Yeah, okay. Well, guys, thank you. I will post the outfit picture on Instagram, probably. So, don't miss out. I know you too, guys. Let's head over to see what Ting Ting is doing, my husbands. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Thank you, all of you cakeies. I love your support. Something weird happened last night, but you guys made it up. Made my day. I won't. Thank you, Momo. 
where shit happens here in Seoul. You guys gotta tune in for the next episode. It does. It's, it's pretty safe. It is pretty safe. Yeah, nothing happens in this block. Literally no crime rate. <laughs> Literally no crime rate. Yay! Let me actually put you guys down. Right on time. Right on time to go somewhere else, 32. Okay, let me not forget my sunglasses. All right, my cakeies. I will see all of you soon. Did it work? Did it work? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yet? Did it? No, not yet. Anyone?